Hi, and welcome back to Hillbilly Storytime, Pens Test Fails. My name is Adam Compton. Today, uh, we're just going to share a small little incident that has come to my attention. And uh, it's something that's probably happened to a lot of people. Maybe not this exact same scenario, but things like this. And uh, it deals with just trusting tools implicitly. I've always said tools are great for what they are. They are tools. But at the same time, you should also know how to do the work yourself without relying on some complex tool that automates some portion of it. Or at least understand how it works without blindly just letting it run. Obviously, that's not always going to be a possibility to understand every aspect of it. Some of these tools are massive in size. Uh, things when you talk about like your larger vulnerability scanners, your web app scanners, stuff like that. To understand every single aspect in there is just not realistic. But when possible, it's advisable to try to understand them, especially if these are going to be open source tools out there. If you're going to go out and download some tool to use it on your engagement, you should probably try to read through the code a little bit. Um, if it's something that has a like an issues page or something like that, like on GitHub where you can post issues that people have seen about this tool, read through those. See if there's something in there that's a gotcha that might come back and bite you on your engagement. And that's what happened here. A couple of individuals were on an engagement and they came across a um, an install of a Cisco Smart Install. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, it's a scenario where Cisco Smart Install is installed. There's an inherent flaw in how some of it's uh, constructed in that if you stand up your own TFTP server, there's a special set of packets that can be sent that triggers the uh, remote Cisco device to send you its running config. Well, that's great. Then you can take that and you can decrypt it. I mean, find all the passwords in there, try to decrypt them. Uh, you can also possibly use it to upload a new config to it, stuff like that. It's an amazing technology, amazing uh, exploit out there. Well, there's this one tool uh, that was uh, available out there um, that supposedly automated some of this, and it did a great job of it. Unfortunately, there was one release of it, one push that was pushed out to GitHub that had a flaw in it, in that when you would use it, it would dump the uh, running config, but it left the Cisco device in an unstable state in that it ultimately ate up all of its NVRAM, causing it to crash and possibly corrupt itself. Well, that's not a nice thing to have, to have happen when uh, you're targeting your customer. And if you target just one system, that's one thing. But if you target like all their core switches or core devices and they have this, or you target all their core, um, critical systems that have this and all of a sudden they're all maxing out and dying, then you have a real issue there. At the time when this was uh, pushed out, this new uh, version of this tool was pushed out, very shortly after that somebody detected that this was the case and posted an issue about it and it said that it was being worked on. Well. The people who had used this on this engagement, they didn't read that part of it. They just decided to run the tool and let it be because they'd heard great things about it in the past. Had they stopped and read the issues, that issue had already been mentioned in there and they would have been aware of this so that they wouldn't have caused this issue with the customer. And the end result is the customer got very upset that all their switches went down or all their devices went down. Uh, that they lost their running configs, there's all kind of corruption, all kind of fingers pointed, blame being thrown around. After much uh, back and forth with it, they were able to get everything back up and running. And it left a sour taste in the mouth of that customer for that uh, pen test company. It's just one of those things that, <clears throat> excuse me, that with any tool out there, with any exploit out there, just take a chance to read through it, read through the issues people have had with it, Run it in a test environment if possible against a similar situation to see if it has any ill effect. Uh, if it does, then you might not want to use that on a customer. Just things like that. Just something quick and dirty in there just to have some sort of validation in there. Well, uh, like I said, this was going to be a quick one today. So hopefully you enjoyed that. And um, yeah, so please, if you like this, please hit the like button. If you want to be updated to any new ones as they come out, hit the subscribe button below. Uh, please check out some of the other videos out there as well, such as the tools demos or the uh, intro to programming sort of videos out there. They're just a side project of mine to be getting those out there. But thank you very much, and uh, hopefully you have a great day. Goodbye.